No. Okay, next thing we need to tell you guys is how to shut this MIG machine down. So usually when you're done welding, um, the tank is still going to have gas in it. Okay? If this is the middle of the block, it's okay to leave it like this. But if it's the end of class, before we leave for the day, we have to shut this thing down properly. The way that we're going to do this is we're going to start by closing the tank fully. So go clockwise on this here, close the tank. Now there's no more gas that can come out of this tank, however there still is gas that's showing, pressure is showing on the gauges. We need to empty all of the extra gas out of here uh, so that it's not sitting in there because if it sits in there for long periods of time, it can actually wear out the gauges and they won't be accurate anymore. So the way to do that is first and foremost close the tank. Now I'm going to use the MIG gun to bleed out all this air. So I'm going to grab this gun and I'm going to pump it, but you know, if I pump it right now I'm going to get lots of wire coming out and it's a waste. So I'm going to start by turning down, if you take a look here, turning down the settings on this all the way to minimum. And now, when I pump the gun, I'm not going to get a lot of wire coming out and it's being wasted. So let's take a look what happens to the gauges when I uh, start pumping this. Okay. So as I start pumping this, there, both gauges have gone to zero. I can make sure by giving them a tap. Okay, they've gone to zero. And that means that the, the entire line all the way through the machine is empty. That, that's called purging. I've basically purged the line. So the final thing I need to do to shut down is I don't want to leave this regulator in because that will fatigue that regulator. It'll wear it out and it'll also become inaccurate. So I'm going to wheel this thing all the way out at the end until it's free, freewheeling like that. And like I showed in one of my other videos, if you keep going, it's going to fall out. We don't need to go that far. We just need to go until it's freewheeling with no pressure. And that is basically how you purge the lines on the MIG machine. When you're all done purging the lines, then you can come on over and you can just simply turn this machine off. And to finish up, you would put the gun back in its holster and I would take these cables and I would hang them up on this hanger back here. There is a little hanger for all the MIG wire. So it's nice just to hang the stuff up there, tuck the machine in tight, and you can leave this ground hooked up. There's no problem with that. Uh, if you're cleaning the table off, uh, at the end of the day, a lot of times we'll use a, a grinding wheel uh, with a flapper disc, uh, a hand grinder with a flapper, and we will clean this entire table off because there's a lot of little pins and slag that makes it hard to weld on. So if you're gonna do that, of course, you have to clean the entire table, remove the ground clamp, and when they remove the ground clamp, you can just hook onto the handle here of the machine, just like so. That's where it can live when we're not using it.